Actually, I'm of a pipe as a fan. Um, I didn't expect to do any waterfall photography on this mission. That's for sure. But this is absolutely stunning. What a gem of a place. So I've just set up, I'm, I'm gonna work the uh, work the location, that's definitely, but I'm F11 and it's giving me an exposure of a second. Now that's probably a little bit too quick actually. Probably eight, so I might go, let me just change, let's go F9. Um, that's better. Half second. I think that'll suit it. Half second exposure, because the water's moving quite quick. We're still getting a bit of texture. Um, that is really, really nice. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cross the bridge. And um, I'm certainly going to have a look from underneath the bridge, but I'm going to cross the bridge because a couple of little elements, a few little elements I really like in the photo. Um, so I'm going to try and incorporate them. And to do that, I need to get a lot closer. I need to get over the bridge, so let's go. Okay, what well I've done, guys, is um Put the polarizer on. We've got real low to this one. A uh, little bit of cascade, and then you've got the main waterfall in the background. And I think it looks superb. Really pleased. And what I like about this waterfall, above it, you haven't got sky or anything like that. Like a lot, a lot of waterfalls you get. There's a lot of woodland, so it really suits the image. Um, so you've got. There's not a lot of light coming. Horrible light that's spoiling it in the sky and. So um, really, really, really nice. Super duper. And I'm on. Change to that. I'm going to go F8 because I've got the polarizer on and I'm getting about it. Oh, I'm getting a wet foot. Um, it's, a, it's a second exposure that is. F8 with the polarizer. Oh. Get my foot out, but um, oh, what an image! Just hope you can hear me okay with the, the waterfall. Um, that is superb, that is superb. Let's get out of it. So, yeah, you know, you know, these things for me, so I can see what I'm doing. So easy. Hey, when it's on the floor, get it on your phone. No, rather than bend your neck, I'll oh, flip the straight. Two miles and all, go like that. That's why the new one of them has got a flip screen. Right. The, D, the 6D has, the 6D yeah. Mark II has. Right. Different. But me, me Sony has, I ought to put my Sony on really. Because the, the advantage of that is massive. Yeah. Cause it kills me. guys we've pulled up um, and it's an old slate mine on the way to our next location so we pulled up and we're going against the grain and we're going hand out so I've adjusted the ISO and my settings um, and I'm loving it <laughs> it's a great place isn't it So I've got my uh, 16 to 35 on, on my Sony, and I'm just 
just going to wander around and I would have thought there'd be black and white images almost definitely um, but just try and get a few intricate shots of these derelict buildings I actually really like the one just in the background then I like it because it's like um, gives you a good bit of scale compared to the basically the quarry that they've mined behind which is the side of the mountain um, so I'm going to get a couple of photos of that I think so I do like that to yet another dam and this is uh, a night spot I think well, it's, for me it's probably one of the most picturesque ones um, and that's why we've sort of chose this place we've just been to somewhere that's like in the middle of just absolute nowhere as great as it is and be great for some night photography um, with the some star photography but um, there's not a lot of feature so um, with it being overcast as you can see and misty we've come to this we drove another hour back to this um, this dam 
and I really like it from the middle here because you got this the winding river running away and then just in the background you got a few trees and that's actually it's actually an island and um, it looks lovely so I'm gonna try and get that image uh, and I've seen it as I drive over so I'm literally going to stick myself in the middle of the dam somewhere here and I'm going to try and get an image because I, th I think that looks lovely but that's a nice scene that's a nice scene right let's get a second set up guys here we go she knows me somewhere she said oh you said there are pictures no what pictures well we went there <laughs> What are you telling me for? <laughs> <laughs> the, the pictures of she's on about Elam. Yeah. Did they uh that dump that visitor centre? Oh right, yeah. Come on, that pot noodle. That noodle thing. Yeah. I do like looking back at that island from that. Well guys, it's certainly not been the, the nicest day for photography, but I still absolutely love it. Definitely ain't gonna get a, a, a real decent photo that I'm over the moon we. Um, weather's not been kind at all. Um, that break in the clouds that it sort of promised just hasn't happened at all. Um, but we've, it has turned into a bit of a a scouting mission um, definitely for some night photography I can see why it's um, very popular with that type of photography because it, it is pitch black at night literally pitch black um, so maybe towards the end of next month if I can um, get out we'll get out and certainly, certainly try and come here at um, once or twice to get some night images, some Milky Way shots, something like that. Um, and I really want that to improve my photography, to be honest. Uh, I've got the Milky Way five or six times now, but nothing impressive at all. But the good thing with this place is, is um, it's close, it's local to where you park you don't particularly have to walk far to get a good foreground image um, and get that Milky Way in just really learning the area so definitely not a wasted journey um, loved every minute we're stopping tonight you never know I don't think the weather in the morning is supposed to be very good at all but um, we haven't been able to check up on the app so that might have changed um, so you never know now what I'm doing now is as this I'm walking down um, from the dam because I really like this there's an island of trees in the middle of the, the next reservoir and I'm gonna I want to try and capture them and I wonder if I can get them from down there Um, from that viewpoint probably could I think I'm going to try so let's go down there then i um, seen it on the way up actually but I couldn't get from the other side which looks really nice but I couldn't, couldn't get there at all actually that's a lie I did get one photo I jumped out of the car quick and uh, ran out of the van and um, got one very cheeky handheld shot so whether that's worked is 
another thing. So, right, we've done here. Little bench and viewing area. So, um, oh, nice area. Yeah, this looks interesting. Oh, oh, hold on, I've just seen a really interesting tree that I might be able to incorporate in it. Uh, which would be a result. So, I don't want it to um, be in the way of the main image that I'm after. Look at that tree. I'll go get that. We might be into one here. Right, I'm going to work this a little bit, see what I can get. Um, certainly can get the island anyway, that's a good thing. Let's concentrate on the first shot. Let's get the shot that I was after, which might work, might not. Um, certainly on a good day it would. And again, it's this, um, this group of trees. Um, the good thing I've just spotted is in the foreground there's one single tree on its own. So that will really pull the image together. Let's get going. I'm looking at you. I'm trying to get your attention. Can I come close? I don't know how to play this. Our hands touch once or twice, feeling kind of hypnotized. I'm looking at you and I feel the tension. You know, this could be like heaven. I am right here, doing my best to make you feel like I do. And just for a second, you're looking at me, making me feel like maybe you want this too. Give me your attention. Just like water, you're making me weak now. What doesn't kill oh, you? Girls. What a lovely night. Um, just settling down now to um, just have me soup, have me dinner. So I'm gonna have a beer, a little bit, a bit of washing up, a beer, settle down, and uh, get ready for in the morning. Not hopeful for in the morning. Um, not hopeful at all for in the morning. I think if we can catch it, it's the sun rises before it starts to rain and that weather comes in. It could actually be potentially on the money, but I think we're going to be very, very lucky if that happens. Never mind, never mind. Still had a great time. Don't think I've got, don't think I've got any decent photos to be honest. Some that would work on a better day. So they're there in my mind for next time. If I ever come here next time and I think the light's right and all this happened, then I've got a couple of locations where I can go to. We've done a lot of travelling today, I must admit. Um, that looks like Pants place in the middle of absolute nowhere. And I found it from uh, another video I watched. And I think his name was Alan. And I can't check it up because I've got no service. Um, it does a bit of vlogging, so if, if I find it, I'll put the link up. Um, he went, he done a wild camp there, which I'll probably do actually, and do a night session there, I think. But it's, a, it's in the sticks, it's in like seriously in the middle of nowhere. Um, so, very, very interesting place. The only thing I would say about it is it's, it's got a lake and mountain range around it but there is no features so that's the only thing I think if it was a, a still night and night photography um, just on about that lake up the middle of nowhere like I think if, if it was a still night night photography it could be a good place if it weren't I think it'd struggle with that oh yeah yeah because there's not a lot of features is there then the, the lakes a bit before you get there might be better actually. Mm. It'd be good for a wild camp. Definitely good for a wild camp. Oh, 
Morning guys, had another fantastic sleep. Um, I woke up sort of about five o'clock and I uh, just wondered what the, uh, the weather's, you know, see if I could see the, any stars, got out, see everything. Thought, I better get up. I've got up, got changed, got ready to go out, had a look out, I see nothing. So, but the reason why I got up is because I could hear a bit of wind. And it wasn't me. So I thought, it must be, uh, it's windy. It might have blew the clouds away. Which obviously it has. And it's blue and back. <laughs> so, um, I'm having my coffee. Just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna get ready because you never know. It's, gonna, it's not gonna be very nice out there, that's for sure. Um, but I've come all this way to try and get a night shot. The lake's just 20 yards away from me, so I'm, I'm gonna if it if it clears up again, I'm gonna try and get out there, and get an image. It's gonna be hard to vlog, so I probably won't vlog it. Um, but if I do get an image. Anything, I'll go through it anyway. Come back to the van somewhere or do it in the daylight. Because um, I've got literally, I'm right next to the dam. The dam wall's 20 yards away. And it's got one of these nice towers on. Um, so that could potentially be a feature of it. Uh, but the lake's really nice, so you've got a bit of mountain range, which you've probably not seen. There's a little bit of uh, like a um, group of trees on the far side that, that might be able to pick up. Um, obviously because it's windy I'm going to get no reflections in the water uh, so that's not going to work so I need a foreground interest almost definitely. Um, I just, just thought, like I say, I thought I'll get up I can't believe I could see every star in the sky. Oh, bloody hell. So I pulled myself together. But within 10 minutes, I'm ready. God, God. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. It's gone again. So as quick as it goes, as quick as it comes, I suppose. So yeah, I'm going to have my cup of tea. And see how, so if you do see any night shots, we'll, we'll talk about it after. If not, I have. <laughs> but the other thing is, because it's windy and it's blow these clouds in and out, it could be a good sunrise. Um, I just hope that these clouds keep, these rain clouds keep away for a little bit. So hopefully we've got a sunrise shot, which would be nice. Just an update on the um, night photography. Um, no. I must have just caught that only time when um, I could see the stars and since then it's been overcast. The only thing I'm hoping for now is, so I've been up for a good hour and a half now, it's seven o'clock, um, waiting for sun to rise now, hopefully there's a little bit of break in the cloud and we pull something out of the bag last minute. I think the best photos of the weekend are probably the waterfall. Um, it was that type of day to be honest where it's overcast so something like a waterfall is perfect and it was a lovely lovely waterfall so um, that's certainly on my list of things to visit again. Um, so yeah night photography no. But when it does, when it, the weather's right, perfect weather, I am definitely coming here for some star photography. Milky Way. It will be absolutely stunning. Um, like I said, I got up at half past, uh, about quarter past five, half past five this morning, and I could see every star, literally. So 
and like I say, 10 minutes later, gone. Uh, so let's hope we can get a, a sunrise and, and pull a pull a little bit of something out of the bag, I reckon. Not hopeful of that neither, to be honest. I can't see any stars at all at the minute, which but I can see a little bit of definition in the clouds, a little bit. So hopefully we'll get some with that breeze. So either that or it's going to be we're going to have the rain and that's going to be it. It's going to be game over. We'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. yeah. So if, you, if this is the end of the vlog, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please, please. Big thumbs up. Loads of comments. 